Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Cosby here from Black Cat Comics in Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I like to give you some great reasons to get down to your local comic shop and pick up something fun to read. Uh, it's a big exciting week, packed with great stuff. I'm going to start with the Marvel guys this week because the Civil War 2 thing is totally out of control. Ever since Civil War 2 number 3 and the big event that I won't spoil for you, uh, everybody's been catching up with all the Civil War stuff. So, there are 11 of them this week to catch up with. This is The Fallen, number one. Uh, kind of picks up from last week's The Accused, number one. Cool zombie Hulk cover there. But wait, there's more. So, Civil War II, Amazing Spider-Man. Choosing Sides. Gods of War with my main, man, my main man Hercules, who does not get enough attention. Civil War II X-Men. We've got the first issue of all of these uh, little minis still in stock, uh, but only a couple of them, and Marvel's selling out like crazy, so don't hold out any longer. Grab these first issues and see what all the hubbub's about. Those are your uh, Civil War crossovers, then in all the tie-ins, like this one, Sam Wilson, Captain America, of course, this is the main Captain America title, so it's one of my favorite Marvel books running. Awesome covers, great stories, cool stuff there. All new Wolverine, you can read more about this one in our newsletter. This series has been a lot of fun. If you're uh, one of those Wolverine purists who's been avoiding this book, you should really pick it up because it's been cool stuff. Grab the uh, first trade paperback, catch up to the new issue. There she is, socking it to my man Captain America. Mockingbird. Power Man and Iron Fist. This is another book that's gaining a lot of steam. Selling more and more copies of this all the time. Spider Woman. And last but not least is The Ultimates. Rounds out your 11 Civil War II tie-in books for the week. I know everybody's got event fatigue and whatever. You don't have to be following all this crazy stuff. But check some of it out because uh, the big event book has been really, really cool. There's lots of other Marvel news too, like Uncanny Avengers, with everybody taking on Ultron. You know, Deadpool's in that book. Black Widow by Mark Wade, one of my all-time favorite writers. And Mighty Thor might be one of your favorite Marvel books running these days. This book is extremely popular. Daredevil Punisher, last issue of that one. And Web Warriors rounds out your rather large list of Marvel books for the week. Unless you're counting Poe Dameron, which is your Star Wars book of the week. Great week for the Marvel guys. And it's always a big week for our friends at DC Comics. Ten Rebirth books to talk about this week. This is Supergirl Rebirth number one. This is your only uh, official first issue Rebirth thing for the week. Everybody's been waiting on that one. The Superwoman book last week was really cool. Doing a great job with the line of super stuff. Batgirl and Birds of Prey, number one. And Suicide Squad, number one, following up on their Rebirth issues. Great Jim Lee cover there. This is most definitely going to be Book of the Week. So I hope it's on your subscription list, or I hope you're already in line at your favorite comic shop, because this one's going to go fast. Aquaman, one of my favorite Rebirth titles. Really glad they gave this guy his book and that he's getting a movie coming up. Batman, probably the biggest book in comics. Green Arrow and Green Lanterns. Always cool to see them coming out in the same week. Along with Justice League, second biggest book behind Batman. The Rebirth one was really cool. Looks like this is going to be the uh, main title for the DCU, just like it was in New 52. Superman. Like I said, they're doing a great job with the line of super stuff these days. And Nightwing rounds out your Rebirth books for the week. Uh, again, we've got most of the issues of all this stuff. I think Superman 2 might be sold out, but we've got all the Nightwings, the Arrows, the Lanterns. So again, if you're holding out on something, check out some of this Rebirth stuff, because it's been really good. Last issue of Dr. Fate is your only uh, non-Rebirth DCU title this week. Not too many of them left. Injustice is your non-continuity book, and Scooby Apocalypse continues the uh, Hanna-Barbera stuff that they've had going on with this, and Wacky Raceland, and Future Quest, and Flintstones. This is probably leading the pack, but it's all been pretty cool, especially Future Quest. Great stuff. 
Good week for all the other guys too. You know, I'm always talking up the BPRD, that's your Mike Mignola book of the week. But I also wanted to mention Aliens Defiance. So I like what Dark Horse does with all their alien predator stuff. They've always done a really good job with their sci-fi stuff. Big week for the image guys. I Hate Fairyland or Wicked and the Divine or Descender are probably all on your list if you're an image fan. Those are some of the bigger books that they have. Good week for Dynamite too. Lords of the Jungle, last issue of this one. This book's been really cool. I'm a big fan of Tarzan. And Gold Key Alliance, bringing together all that uh, old school gold key stuff. What I think of as the old school Valiant stuff. Solar, Man of the Atom, Magnus Robot Fighter, Turok Dinosaur Hunter, cool stuff. Almost the last issue of that too, so grab the first issue and see what we've been talking about for the last few months. And Bob's Burgers, my last Dynamite book of the week, because it's as awesome as the show. What happened to Louise? And Kong of Skull Island is your Boom Studios book of the week, because, well, I like anything with giant gorillas. And it's a great week for the kids' books too. How about Powerpuff Girls? Haven't seen them in comics for a long time. Great to see them coming back. And Simpsons Comics number 232. You know, I'm always talking about what a great job Bongo does with all their Simpsons stuff. Simpsons and Bart and Futurama, Simpsons Illustrated. Just as awesome as the show as well. And a couple of Disney books. We got Uncle Scrooge. And we got Disney's Magic Kingdom Comics. The second of a two-issue series. Double-sided cool stuff celebrating the uh, 60th anniversary of Disneyland. As I've been saying, great to see all the Disney stuff coming back to comics. Like I said, huge week with lots of great stuff. So make sure you check those shipping lists. Get down to your shop, pick up something super awesome. That's all we got for you for this week. You can check us out at blackhatcomics.biz. Check us out at Facebook. Check out our cool YouTube channel. Or just get on down here to Rockin' Milpitas. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.